Yo, what's poppin' guys? It's your boy Crickstow and I am back at you guys with another video and we are back with another lower rated fighter versus high rated fighter and this time we're going with the Sadiq Yusuf pick against Conor McGregor here in, fe in the featherweight division. Sadiq Yusuf was not a fighter that was in the game. Uh, initially, he actually got added in as a featured fighter, I believe in around the third or fourth patch. So he's not really new, but he's he's kind of new if you feel what I'm saying. We're going up against the powerhouse that is Conor McGregor. If if you guys play UFC 4 at all, you know Conor McGregor is absolutely ridiculous, especially in featherweight. Him and Max Holloway are the toughest fights in that division. But we're going to try to get this win here with Sadiq Youssef. Uh, I apologize uh, ahead of time. Uh, I, I am a little bit sick, so my voice might cut in and out. You might hear a couple sniffles. We're trying to get over a cold. But it's not going to stop us from getting this dub right here. So here we catch a good head kick by him. We're trying to space it out just a little bit, trying to crack that leg. But I did notice immediately that he started off in orthodox, which is Connor's switch stance. Um, and his switch stance isn't the best. So I wanted to not really make it a point to be hitting the hitting that leg uh, because it does lower Connor's uh, his speed and his power down just a little bit. So, But we're still taking our time. We're going to add in the leg kicks here and there, but we're not going to make a concerted effort to keep kicking that leg. So here, we're just spacing it out. We're trying to catch him whiffing one of these kicks, but he's doing a good job so far of just landing them or hitting them off the block. We're taking our time, trying to play a little bit technical because we do not have the advantage here. Um, we're at a disadvantage in every single stat. Power, speed, accuracy. So we really want to be careful in this matchup, and we do not want to be on the cage. So there, we're circling off. Now we're going to try to pressure him to put him on the cage. So that way if he throws a kick, we can back out of range and be able to overhand it. Here we're just pressuring him. Try to go with the body kick. He blocks it into a good calf kick of his own. So we're spacing it out. Putting that jab in his face. Feigning just, just a little bit to keep him from throwing a lot of strikes. Jab late. Oh, we feigned the leg kick right there as well. I actually tried to throw that one. I must have hit R2 way too fast. But here we're just spacing it out, taking our time. There's five rounds. Connor is known to not have a good gas tank, especially with the way that this guy's fighting. Uh, we caught him right there going to the body, so I don't think he's going to go to the body too much more, but you never know. Good calf kick right there, good one-two by us right there. We were able to counter that miss kick with a straight, and that's what we want. But here we're just playing it patient, trying to see what this guy's doing, not letting pressure us up against the fence. He tries to go with the oblique kick. We overhand it off of the whiff. Hit him with a good lead hook as he tried to slip off. We fake that uh, that lead hook again. He misses on the front kick. We don't overhand it. Good jab leg kick keeps that kick from coming out. And here we're just staying patient. We're not rushing things. And that's the, that's the key to using lower tier fighters. You have to stay patient and take what the game gives you. Like right there, we just pull countered that uppercut with a straight. And now we're looking to be offensive. But we blow out a lot of our stamina. So we retreat. We let the stamina bar go back up. We're trying to circle off the cage. Good job by him right there joint, throwing a jab hook to keep us in place. Working the body nicely. There's 40 seconds left. We need to be careful because he is checking those leg kicks now as well. We're back up against the fence where we do not want to be at. We'll be able to block that overhand. We're trying to hit him with a good three-punch combination. Get that block out down just a little bit. He double jabs but whiffs. Good leg kick right there by him. He lunges with the straight. One-two head kick catches him. We rock him. He returns a favor with a head kick of his own, which stops us from pressuring him. And that's going to be the end of the first round. Now, we did gain a little bit of respect there at the end of the round by getting that rock, which will, will kind of keep his block up a little bit higher. So if we want to work the body, we can. Or if we want to go down to the legs, we can as well. But he did a good job of pressuring. Uh, you see the strikes. It's 47 in his favor, 42 in mine. Uh, we need to try to be farther ahead in strikes because if we're about equal connor is going to win the fight every single time just because of his speed and power so here starting off the second round he goes back in the orthodox we jab straight that block immediately to get it down just a little bit good good kicks right there by him good body kick knocks us down he's going to go with the knee to the body and then a, a hook to the head and now we do not want to be here we're also in southpaw which is not very good so we immediately switch back to orthodox hits us with a good straight but we're double jabbing into that block. We're trying to play it patient, just trying to keep him off of us because I know if I make one mistake, he's going to swarm me. Good side kick right there keeps us off of him. Good double jab into a straight. But uh, with like I was saying earlier, with, with the lower tier fighters, you really got to stay patient. 
And as you can see here, normally I press uh, pretty heavy. Good block right there by him. Gets him a leg health event. We can't kick that leg anymore. But we catch him with a good jab hook. Knock him down. And we're trying to go for the finish here. We're not going to take him down to the ground because we don't have an advantage right there. But we are going to pressure him up against the fence. Catch him with a good jab hook. He major lunges out of the way right there. But we're going to reset and not rush. We have a game plan where we have another three rounds to try to get him out. We're going to take what he gives us right there. We catch him with a good front kick. Rock him again. He's able to pull counter the uppercut. Luckily, we didn't get caught with one of Connor's nasty straights that he has. But we're back on the pressure here. We're trying to get him to make a mistake like we just did a second ago when we caught him with the front kick. He made your lunges to try to get out. We catch him with a good jab straight right there. Try to hit him with a good block breaking combination, but he's wise to it and moves his head off perfectly. We stop him from major lunging out. We have him up against the cage here, but like I said, we're not rushing. We're just trying to break that block down slowly but surely. He hits us with a good head kick right there, then tries to go with the spinning back heel kick to the face. Good straight right there. Catches us with a good slip straight. Now we're in trouble. Knocks us down right there. Tries to jump on us, but we're not having any of that baby. We're not. Tries to go with the head kick. Now the, the pace is starting to pick up a lot. We almost caught him with a head kick. Um, I, we've rocked him a couple times. He's rocked us. So it's just a matter of time at this pace before one of us goes to sleep. So here he's backing up. Tries to catch us with another front kick, but that's not working. We're trying to block break him. Good major lunge by him right there. Evades most of the strikes. Clinches us up. Pushes us back up to the cage like he did earlier. He's going to try to detach here and throw some combinations. We pull counter that hook and just absolutely annihilate him with an uppercut. Like I said earlier, Sadiq Youssef does have really good stats for being a lower tier fighter. And we're able to pull counter that hook and just, just catch him with a perfectly timed uppercut and put Connor to sleep. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this fight. If you did, make sure to leave a like on the video. And if you are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well. And thank you guys for stopping by. Until the next video, I will see you guys later.